All right, what is going on, guys? It's your boy RJ here. I'm back with another video, and I want to first apologize on the last video because I didn't like actually end. So I did end the video, but uh, like I put like the video in there that I was in it, but for some reason it did not render with it. Like it, I don't know what happened. So I tried putting the video back in, like I edited it again, put it back in, and rendered it, and it did this same exact thing. I do not know why, uh, but. I mean, yeah, sorry. Alright, so as you guys saw, I got the new NMDs on the last video. And just so, if you guys want to, like, kind of, um, what you call it? Like, if you're torn between which one to get. Basically, they're both comfortable shoes. Like, they're both comfortable. Uh, but, one thing to consider is that NMDs are a little bit more loose. Like, like this part is not the prime knit. It's not loose. I mean, it's not even prime knit. But then the Ultra Boost, since they have the prime knit, it's like a little bit more snug, it's more soft, and this is like just, I mean, it's just comfortable. So, I mean, if I had to choose between one, I'd still go with Ultra Boost, but the NMDs are not bad. I like them. They look pretty good on feet. Um, yep, sorry if it's dark, but uh, let's fix that. You know it's dark, but uh, yeah, pretty nice shoot, though. So, just to let you guys know, that's on feet. I mean, you guys are racing this one, but... Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's uh, I got some uh, ghost uh, whey protein. Uh, I mean, like I already have the ghost pre-workout, so I just got some whey protein. Uh, I got the cereal milk flavor. Let's see if I can just focus with one hand. Yes, I can. Yeah, cereal milk flavor. So it's going to have this for a little, uh, I guess, snack, but even though it's kind of dinnerish. So we got another package. Let's open it. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. I'm wearing like a little mesh tank top. Don't judge me. I just got up, so. Another unboxing. I've been doing a lot of unboxings today, so. Yeah. Make sure to always cut away from you guys. Like, cut away from yourself, so. It just comes with bubble wrap. We're gonna need this. You're about to see why. Yeah, you guys kind of already know what it is. It's that one like shaker where if you like, drop it like that and you can just push that button, so. Okay, so I know like the vlogs have been like kind of cut-ish, and there's been it's just been unboxing after unboxing. But uh, today I was supposed to uh, I was gonna record, but uh, I forgot to bring my camera. Yeah, so I was gonna record a chest day, um, like I always do. But yeah, like I said, I forgot to bring the camera. But um, got, just got some new uh, wrist wraps in the mail. These are called uh, bear grips. Yeah, there you go. It's got bear grips. Um. I had good reviews on Amazon. I know I could have gotten like something else better. Like sh uh, there's this other brand, but honestly, don't really care as long as it does the job. Uh, then I'm good. Oh yeah. Also, when I was at the gym today, um, I was doing a uh, dumbbell bench, and when I came down to like bring the dumbbells, like down, um, one of the dumbbells like got caught in my headphones, and well, this happened. Um, so. Yep, that is a real big bummer. I already did super glue it once. It already it's already been broken once, and now it just finally did it. Um, it sucks. Um, I got these for on, on sale for like a hundred bucks, and I could guess I could try to re super glue them, but I don't. It's it. I broke it a different way than the other way that I did it, and uh, no, I don't. It's done. I mean, you can still hear, but sucks i had these for two years two years of good headphones um the bummer so yeah, opening these up uh these are really thick compared to like the little gold gym one i have these are like way bigger way bigger but they work yeah my mm -mm, that's good so yeah that's the brand bear grips uh it's all you can find them on amazon uh which is where i got them um 
just first impressions, they are pretty good. So, as you guys know, my beat's broke. And, well, can't go to the gym without headphones, so we got a new one. So, I obviously went with the gloss black one, and I do not regret it. They are nice. Alright guys, so back with the commentary. So, I started off this workout with deadlifts. Um, well, not with that set. Uh, I started off with 135, and worked my way up to 275, which is uh, my first set, which I did for 5 reps. And that I should have not done, because the set after that, um, I did 315 for 2 reps. And... After that set, my back was already, like, done. So this set you're about to see, I was supposed to hit two reps again. So I hit this one, and you can see I grinded that out. And I'm not going to hit the next one because my, <laughs> my back was just absolutely wrecked. So uh, you're about to see it right here. I think I barely lifted, like, maybe two inches off the floor. Maybe if I tried more, I could have probably got it. But obviously I didn't. After I moved on to this, like higher like raised cable I'm not sure exactly sure what it's called but I'm just gonna call it like it's like a cable roll but then the like cable is a little bit higher than usual so you're getting like a little bit you work your, like different parts of your back and I felt it on my traps my lats and a little bit on my rhomboids uh, which is good because my back is from that exercise right here uh, different angle it <laughs> my back is just sore it's really sore and it's sore in a good way uh, usually my back does not get sore after back workouts recently, but once I try, once I see a new back workout, I want to try it so that my back does get sore. Uh, so after that, we moved on to some lat pull downs, and as you can see right here, like it looks like I'm rushing the set, but I'm not. I, I just kind of sped it up just for time purpose because I know you guys don't like watching these comment long commentaries, and I know it's boring. Oh, I forgot to add a set. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, um, I moved on to this like. Uh, bent like it's like a bent over row but except you're leaning on the bench so that's a good because i didn't want to do any more like t-bar rows or anything like that because of my back was it was just gone after that uh, i did one bicep exercise before this one but uh this one it works just working on the peak muscles um and also a little bit on your brachialis that's what it's called um yeah, and it works. This is one of my favorite by newest, newer favorite bicep workouts because I mean, obviously, look, made my arms look somewhat bigger. Obviously, so uh, that is gonna be it for today's commentary. Oh yeah, I did that for four sets. Yeah, so that's gonna end the commentary, <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. This is clean. Here is the Everford shirt. Um, it fits really nice, and I'm since I am a skinny person, uh, it well, it fits really good. Uh, see a little tricep there. Actually, not a little. That's a lot. Holy shit! I just did get done eating, so abs are okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, Everboard. Nice job, Max Shooting. But that is going to end today's video, um, or not today's video, end the video itself. It's been like a long stretch of unboxing. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you like, enjoyed the video, I always say like. But if you enjoyed it, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.